Judge, I think we're ready. We're ready. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the uh, Brazos County Commissioner will meet in the workshop session as follows, October 28th, 10 a.m., Commissioner's Courtroom, County Administration Building, to our South Texas Avenue, Suite 106. First item is called to order. The second is the discussion by the Commissioner's Court of the following illustrative plan and public comments concerning it, and then two is the plan and amendments and as appropriate to develop a plan for future adoption. Uh, Sid, do you want to? Does that, does that mean you're all going to blame it on me? <laughs> just just want to get the lay of the ground. Uh, at the last uh, work session, uh, you started from one of our draft plans and uh, came up with the plan that's on the screen now, which we are calling Illustrative Plan 1. And that's the plan that you put out for public comment. So all the public comments you got yesterday relate to this plan. And we're here today uh, to look at that plan and uh, consider any changes you want to make to it, uh, hopefully uh, agreeing on a plan that you will be ready to adopt at your next meeting. So uh, would anybody like to see more detail than that? Josh is on the phone on the phone and uh, and zoom in on any parts of it you're interested in uh, I'd just like to say I think this is a fair and equitable uh, plan it uh, pretty evenly distributes the population and it follows uh, Natural street lines that make the most sense to me. So uh, I'm very happy with this plan You know, I agree I, I thought it was a I mean it, it gets us within the tolerance that we have to be in uh, you know, and I, I really, I've heard very few, uh, I mean, there were a few folks that spoke yesterday, uh, and one talked about uh, trying to align with uh, the zip code out there, but uh, I'll tell you that, I mean, I'm one of those that has a zip code of College Station address out there in the ETJ of Bryan, uh, City of Bryan sent out a letter uh, in January of this year that said that uh, they had talked with the post office and had got an agreement that your address could change to Brian if you chose to and everybody that bills out there on all the de development that's going out there now will have a Brian address rather than a college station address so they have addressed that issue the post office and the city of Brian addressed that issue everybody that's on the highway 30 side uh, on the ETJ and city of Brian now can have a Brian address rather than a college station address. So I think that issue has already been taken care of. You know, we have had, uh, you know, I mean, we, we looked at it and I think population wise that we are, we're in compliance. So I'm, I'm fine with what we've come up with. Sid, when we get to this point in the conversation, I do have a small change that I'd like to make out in that area that we're discussing, but I do agree with the judge that using uh, the 77845 does not it, it, there's too much area out there that, that that change would affect, so I've got a couple of changes I want to offer when the appropriate time comes. Sid, I'd like to um, comment on the comments that were made on yesterday. Most of those that spoke were speaking to us being fair and equitable and within the law. And I think you've done that in every drawing that you've shown, you've, you've attempted that. And I wanna thank you. It's been a pleasure to work with you. Thank you. I uh, got a couple of items I wanted to address relative to precinct one and what we have in the illustrative plan relative to public uh, input that we got. It was not spoken, but it was uh, submitted to all of us in writing. Um, and so if we're at the point to where we need to kick that off, then I'm ready to go. If not, then I'll wait until the appropriate time. Okay. Well, this is a work I session for drawing. This so is uh, this is it. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me start just by, uh, and, and after visiting with people in the, uh, in precinct one about the, uh, uh, plan that we came up with. The first thing was is the uh, developers of Southern Point 
and this is kind of a neutral deal as far as the numbers go because it has zero census uh, in it, but the Southern Point, they had expressed and expressed to us that uh, they would desire for that to stay in precinct one. And I understand that there's a lot of future growth there and we're trying to address that. I'm the one that brought that up as a question of where we want to do, but I think if you take a look at uh, what's happened with uh, the changes in precinct three and with the uh, growth and development that's happening within the, uh, well, what's, what the city of College Station calls uh, Midtown and their development, there's a lot of uh, population growth that will be happening there. And I also think that it's possible that uh, precinct three was probably undercounted because April 1st, uh, all of the student population, particularly that in Northgate, where you had a whole lot of, uh, uh, you know, high-rise development and stuff like that, I don't think that uh, those people who should have been counted April 1st uh, were there, and I don't think that they uh, really said that that was it. But so the the, the main thing was is the the. Uh, Southern Point to address the concerns of the uh, Southern Point developer. And then <clears throat> I also think that uh, it's more logical and uh, I think it's easier to communicate that we look at 2818 uh, to be the uh, boundary between Precinct 1 and Precinct 3 and out to where it continues out. Uh, to Easterwood Airport for Precinct 4 and I'd like to look at the, uh, what things would look like if we took the part that was Southwood Valley, the part that's uh, to the furthest uh, east along and then move that part, uh, move that boundary from what looks like I think Deacon uh, up to 2818. There's a pretty, that's a, there's a lot of population there but then the other two areas out there, both uh, east of and west of uh, 2154 that come down that are contiguous to uh, Precinct 4 right now, if those were to be included in either Precinct 3 or Precinct 4, but Precinct 4 in this plan is still the furthest away underpopulated relative to uh, ideal. So. Um, but, I, but I think it would just make more sense and, and easier to communicate and still address all the equitable issues, don't have any problems with that. Uh, but those are the two things, that, really three things. Southern Point, uh, the area below 2818 that is uh, aligned with Texas Avenue and moving that boundary up there and either to offset that population with the two further west parts of Precinct 1 that are north of 2818 and having those go to Precinct 3 or Precinct 4, whichever uh, the will of the court would be. Okay, what we're going to need to do, I think, is zoom in on those pieces, and I apologize for not being as familiar with your roadmap as you are. Oh, no, that, that's... that's uh, so if that. you will help guide Josh to yeah. the area you're interested in, yeah. He can zoom in and we can look at that in detail. So I think I found 2818. Is that the road I heard? Yes, here? if you go over to Texas Avenue uh, and uh, if you'll zoom in right there, go a little, okay, in the center of the map, that area that uh, comes below of Precinct 3 that comes below, it's actually uh, the subdivision uh, is Southwood Valley. Uh, that part right there, the yellow part that goes below 2818 as a part of Precinct 3. Yes, sir, that one right there where you had your arrow. We're looking at uh, all of this area. Yes. We have roughly a population of about uh, 2,200 people here, if I can get everything selected. Okay. And that, and then uh, offsetting that with the two areas of Precinct 1 that are further to the west and north of 2818. Yes, sir, those, those two parts right there. 2818 is the part that comes down below, where, where actually right where the number 1 is for Precinct 1. 
we're looking at this area just north of it, yes, uh, in, the, in precinct one. Yes, sir. That's it's currently in precinct one. Okay. And, and having and, and looking at the population of that one as an offset, I just think it's a more logical uh, boundary that's uh, uh, communi that we can communicate to the to the public where the boundaries between four and three and one are. Yeah, we can most certainly take a look at that. Let me select this area. And we're talking about putting this area of one into um, either four or three? Yeah, or, uh, you know, splitting it between four and three might make some sense because four is the uh, uh, furthest, I mean, from, the, from looking at the census demographics, four is, the, is still the lower mm -hmm. populated of the four precincts relative to our high and low. Let me put all this into four. It looks like four's boundary comes right through here anyway, so it looks like that will line up pretty well. And let's just see what that does. So this is, I'm just realizing that's 8,700 people and the difference is, so you're right, maybe splitting it would be better. But um, just to see real quick, I'm gonna put this into four. See what that does to our numbers here. Yeah, so that does jump us up a lot. So I'm going to undo that. I'd like to know what the demographics are. And I'm going to split it. Yeah, as no, you and, mentioned. And Commissioner Colley, I really, you know, I really do. This is looking just from a big picture perspective, but I do uh, want to address all of the equitable and demographics. Oh, that, we that certainly that will. Yes, mm -hmm. we certainly shall. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so I now just took half of that area. We've got about 5,000 people on the count, and let me see what it does to the demographics and the population, just assigning this portion of it to four. Assigning the selected, it just went through. So population-wise, we're okay. We're still under 10%, and let me uh, undo that again, get a kind of feel for the demographics. And what I can do is just take a screenshot what it is right now so we can uh, with my memory it's easier to overlay I'll just take this whole area so I'm going to undo that change you got to love geographic information systems okay so now we're back to our original plan here uh, our illustrative plan and here is a screenshot of what the change looked like uh, so I'm going to go through, we did this change between, was that three and four? I know it was four. Mm -hmm. And so our deviation went from you know, minus uh, 478 to a plus. So we kind of just swapped down from being under 2,700 people to being over uh, roughly 2,500. Um, looking at our demographics here. We went from 17.9% to 16.9. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we definitely lost some there uh, in the Hispanic population. Mm -hmm. Same situation, we lost about a percent. And the overall minority went down by about 2.5% roughly from 72.94 to 70.51. I see it. I can't agree to that. Well, and then it will, with the offset as far as that goes, if we were to pick up, uh, now does that include the, the uh, also the swap that we had in the Southwood Valley area? It did not. So let okay. me keep this in for now. Uh, oh, well, I took it out. So let me re-put it back in. Uh, to my honorable colleague. Yes. I will not accept the demographics or that uh proposal. I can't support it. The purpose of Precinct 4 would be diluted in the power of my constituents. It's not in the best interest to do that. It might look good, but it doesn't work for me. Okay, this is now the change with the area we decided over here to take out of three and put back into one. And I also have the change uh, here. Um, so let me take a screenshot of this. Okay. So what if we were to put that area that we're currently thinking about in four into three, and that would keep the uh, uh, 
uh, it would be more contiguous with the border uh, between the two precincts being 2818. This area right here? Yes, sir. Yes. And, and, and actually the area, um, this area at here as well. Um, well, let's just start a piece at a time. What would, what would it look like right there? Cause I think you'd say like 8,600 was the population of the total area but, south of, uh, of both uh, of them. Yeah. North of 2818. So, Okay, and uh, does this look like what you were describing to me? We got this area in three, this part we put the four, and then this area that was in three is now in one. So everything south of uh, 2818 is in one. And um, I can take, a, we, we are over on the deviation, um, okay. but it's you know, not by a ton, but if you like, I can do another screenshot of this and compare it back to the, uh, the illustrative plan if you'd like. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo these changes. I got that screenshot now. I'm going to go back to our IP plan, illustrative plan. I believe this was right here. So these are our numbers that we have for our uh, illustrative plan. And with all the changes put in, this is what are the, the differences. So. And even though this was over our, our overall plan deviation, I think it was, I remember right around 11%, um, but uh, just to go over the individual numbers. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. Was someone giving me a uh, direction? You ready? Is it on? It's on. It's on. It's on. Can you yeah, I can, I, can, I can barely hear uh, Sid, but everyone else is coming in loud and clear. Here, take mine. Yep, I can hear, I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfectly. Right. Go to the southernmost part of three over on the right side there, that area uh, just to the left of your cursor, and put that into one just to see what that looks like. <clears throat> okay, this area is now going into one. And our plan deviation is 11.9%. One of the problems in that area, commissioners, is that there are is a very dense, densely populated area. Yes, it is. And so if you move anything resembling a substantial portion of a precinct around, it takes the plan out of balance. Yeah. Yeah. And the ripple effect of that right. is that you end up having to make changes elsewhere that you may not want to make. If we were to offset that not to precinct 4 but to precinct 3 for the other piece, that it was, I mean, to me it makes sense that area that's uh, divided by 2154 uh, Welburn Road, uh, and that might be a better. So the stuff he's got highlighted, is that what you have in mind? Yes. Okay, put that in three. Okay, this is going into three, and population wise, it did offset. We were down now to a six point. Uh, Nine two percent. Yeah, that's the lowest. That's the closest to ideal we've come yet, uh, and I don't think that changed significantly the What's demographic. The it doesn't change. It doesn't. No, it doesn't it, it's it's it's, it's pretty it much a, an equal offset demographics-wise between the Southwood Valley area and that. And I would my, personally, I would prefer that because I think it's easier to communicate and uh, for people and. It, it, it gets us closer to ideal as well, if that's not a problem for the Precinct 3 Commissioner. No, I don't have a problem with that. 
But Southern Point's going to see a lot of growth. Pardon me? Southern Point's going to see a lot of growth in the next decade. Yes, and I'm, and I'm really just trying to address, I mean, and so is, I think, uh, Midtown, but I do think that, uh, uh, you know, I want to address the, the concerns that were expressed by the developer at Southern Point with his comments, with his public input. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. in considering the next suggestion or two or three, do you want to start from this point or do you want to go back to the plan origi as originally shown today? Is everybody okay with uh, this change? Yeah, I, well, let's, let's be sure that we've got the southern point. I mean, did, did, like you said, it was a zero current census population, but uh, just for... Uh, Working from that point forward, I'd like to address the Southern Point. Uh, and where is that request by the developers of Southern Point? That is down. Want to uh, zoom out? Yeah, it's down right there by Peach Creek. Okay, it's that piece that's just underneath the current precinct one, precinct three boundary to the south. That one, just a little bit to your right there. Yes, sir. That one right there. That is Southern Point. Okay, it looks like this whole area here is one uh, precinct block, and you're correct, the population we have is zero. <coughs> so you, you want that put into? Yes, that one. was a request of, that we got in our public uh, okay. hearing from the, uh, they weren't here, they, the, per, the, the person who entered those comments was not here, but they did submit in writing uh, that request on their part. Is everybody okay with that change? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. From a census perspective, it yeah. has zero net effect. Okay. Go ahead and yes. go ahead and put one. No, into one. Oh, it goes into one. Okay. It, just, it, remi it remains that current boundary line, which actually is geographically Lick Creek. Yeah. That all stays the same. Yeah. Okay. Thank Perfect. you. That, 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 that's everything. Okay. And then further down, it's I have one other question that. I want us to address, but thank you. From three back to one. But where we we're at six point yeah. is that eight this two or nine two? Comes nine, into two. nine two. Okay. And let me just add so that everybody's clear, you don't get bonus points for getting closer to zero. <laughs> right. As long as you're under ten, you're okay. <laughs> and I understand. It is got to meet the law. Yeah. But I'll, I'll give you bonus points. The bar is but, but the, okay. I get it. The bar is ten, but if we can get beyond ten, then we don't get any bonus points. No bonus points. Think limbo and how hard you're going to hurt your back. Yeah. Mr. Ford, I'm ready. Uh, uh, remember, we're keeping or trying to make sure that it's one vote. One person. One person. Right. Yeah. It's not that it looks good, but it's equal, equitable. Yes. Well, I mean, were there any, with, with the changes we've made there, were there any substantive uh, changes in demographics that we need to go back and look at and address? No, because it's okay. zero okay. now. You, you didn't change Precinct 4, but we're okay. Yeah. Yeah. I said to address some of the changes, uh, excuse me, the comments that we had uh, yesterday, but also to take into account what the judge talked about because he lives out in that area. I've got uh, a proposal, not that we take all of the 77845 addresses, but it appears that the census blocks uh, follow Mathis Creek, sort of from the uh, Bryan city limits uh, down to the river. And I've got uh, a couple of census blocks that I'd like to give you out in the area of Highway 30. 158 and 30, uh, block 1021, 1020, 3011, 3010, 3014, 3015, 3021, 3020, now I've already said that, no, 3020, and then uh, 3018, 
3,023. That's a very low net effect as far as population. I know we're not trying to hit the numbers right on the money, but uh, it, it does address several of the questions. One of them, I think, was a citizen that lived on Coal Lane uh, that had a comment, and then, of course, uh, Rudy Schultz uh, had a comment on it also. So I'd like to look at those, please. Okay, and this is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, we said uh, State Highway 30 right here? Yes. G generally what I'm talking about is including Mathis Creek in uh, and to the west of that in Commissioner Precinct 3. Okay, I'm trying to find... Josh, this, uh, is, this is that strip of census blocks we looked at last week. Now go, uh, go pan to the so we see more of the right side and go right above the highway in precinct two. There's a strip of blocks along that current boundary. That's what Commissioner Ford's talking about, I believe. Okay, let me turn on the blocks here. That should help a lot. And I believe this is the uh, creek here. Um, the census block does go through it. Uh, that one it does. Just just to the south of that, it follows the creek, I think. Okay, and we're speaking of these areas right here, I believe, and going uh, continuing south here along the border? Yes. Or, or, okay. oh, there we go. Is that all of them, Commissioner? I believe that's it. All right, I'm trying to see the census block just so I can double check here. So here is all the information in this block. Um, let's see here. Uh, was it block 3015? Was that one of them? Uh, no, it is not. Uh, no, it is 3015. Yes, but that's population zero. Okay, perfect. I just need to make sure I get the label correctly. So I'm going to label all the census blocks here. 20. There we go. Okay, so three fifteen I got selected. 318, 320, 321. 314 and 3, uh, excuse me, 3010. Okay, let me add those. There's 314, there's 310. I'm assuming I'm going to add in 311 just to square this up in 9016. Right, you got 1021 and 1020 also. Yes, uh, uh, okay. no, 1020 is north of that. Again, 1020 is a population of zero, but it just makes sense. So the, the boundary on the top of that is Elmo Wheaton? Yeah. 
Commissioner, it looks like 1020 is to the west of the road there. Yeah. And 1021, did you want both of those as well? I, I'd like to put both of those in the consideration, please. That basically takes University Drive uh, and the Bryan City limit, leaves that in two. It takes this, this area just to the east of Highway 30 and adds that to three. I will put this into three and see what our numbers look like. We only have a population of 809 people, so it shouldn't be too drastic. Assigning that now, our deviation went to 7.67. Yeah, I, I don't want that. Uh, it, Highway 30 makes the most sense. Uh, adding that area does not. It also uh, would eliminate a uh, political challenger to uh, Commissioner Ford, which I think is uh, wrong. Com Commissioner, uh, what I'm going to tell you is in our, in our precincts, you can you can move to another precinct if you wanted to run in two. You could rent property in that precinct and still be fully within the law to run in two. You we can't we can't totally disregard the comments that we got yesterday just because it might uh, put one person in a in a different precinct. They can move. Well, anybody can move, but that's not the point. The point is that this is a particular gerrymander to eliminate a competitor, and that's wrong. Not in any way. And, it's, uh, it's addressing I, the comments I, I, that we got yesterday, and I believe this makes more sense with the, the population, how it would fit into three uh, and, and leave two generally the same as it is now. Well, I, I, I do not want uh, this uh, geographic area. Well, and, and Highway 30 does make the logical sense. Uh, it, that is the ETJ of College Station, and City of Bryan is on the other side. It's a major highway. I mean, I, and I will tell you, 20 years ago, I, I asked for that to happen, and it didn't. Ten years ago, when we went through it, instead of coming uh, Precinct 3, they used to be Precinct 3, some of that out there. Right. And they shifted over to Carter Creek, which is a, another line. Uh, it's the uh, CSISD and BISD line. But, but Highway 30 really is the logical place for, for that line to be because it's City of Bryan College Station. If College Station comes out and, and annexes in the future, then they can only annex up to Highway 30. Bryan has already annexed a strip through there, and they can go all the way to the river. I mean, to me, that's the logical place to put a line, and it's a defined line that everybody that drives out there would know that, you know, Precinct three is on one side, precinct two is on the other side. I mean, to me, that's just a, a, a that, that, that looks the, the most logical spot to me, you know, uh, and not try to draw in, you know, a, a creek uh, as the line. I respectfully disagree. Is that well? Is that all the changes that everybody that was all to that look I, at? That I wanted yeah, to consider. I, I don't. I don't want that uh, additional area in three. No, I under, understand that you don't like that. I'm just asking: Were there any other things we wanted to look at, or are we in the place where the only issue is this area here? I, I mean, I I was happy with the other. I'm happy with the. The changes that Steve made, as long as, as Nancy is okay with it, I'm okay with it. And uh, so I guess, as far as I know, this is the only issue we got. Right. Unless somebody else has got a an issue. We'll have one more bigger picture question, but I've visited already about that that I think we need to address. But. You know, the one benefit of this is, is it does make more of a rural urban perspective for precinct three which we've done but with the highway 30 uh, boundary and, and extending out along the uh, uh, 
Fitch annexation that College Station has out there. I know Brian has an annexation that comes out the line right there. Um, so, um, yeah. so uh, the, the other issue that I wanted to address is uh, Steve speaking. To the, the other issue I wanted to address, we can still wait on that because it's not con it, it's not about this. Well, at this point, I don't have anything to add, and you need to get your arm wrestling uh, joints limbered up and decide uh, which way you want to go on this last change. Well, I've spoken my mind. I am not in favor of this. I think Highway 30 makes the most sense, and to leave that as the boundary. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Highway 30 is the logical way to uh, split uh, Highway, I mean, uh, Precinct 3 and 2. I mean, it's, you know, it's College Station, Bryan. It's, it's a logical way to draw the boundary. So I'm, I'd be some, in support of the first proposal. I believe that the next meeting is the one that's scheduled for actual adoption. Yeah. And so if you don't fight it out today, you'll have to fight it out uh, at the adoption meeting. It's your pleasure. Uh, well, I think we ought to fight it out now. need a decision on so this that one way or the we, other before then. When we post it, we post what we believe to be the final. So, so the MES, Commissioner, Tell me what the reason would be that you would need to stick that area over there into uh, three. We, we talked about it yesterday, and a part of it is is that the voting precinct 27 is a huge boundary, and it's already over numbers. No, it's no, not. It wasn't over, but the number it is 5,000, and it's got 4,000. So yes, it's, 40, it's 20 percent no, it's, it's close. Uh, in, in addition, Judge, I don't think there's going to be any particularly new growth as far as subdivisions in this area. I think there will be out to the east of there where, I, where I'm talking about. I feel like that the neighborhoods, uh, if you will, uh, along 30 there just to the east uh, are truly neighborhoods. You know, there's not, there's not much country. There's not much open land in that area. It's all like one-acre one lots uh, in that area. I think it's a perfect fit for three. I think it fits the demographics of three. I think it fits uh, the mindset of three. Uh, I understand that the college station addresses can change, but I think most of those people in that area consider themselves to be in college station addresses. As one of the citizens stated yesterday, uh, they'd like to be in, in precinct three. So I, I'm, I'm willing to accommodate that. I'm also uh, feel like that the area down to the river uh, is is just a you know a, a small a small area. If if the commissioner uh, has a problem going down to the uh, the river on the east side of 30, I certainly would take that under consideration. But these these uh, areas up in here also give the commissioner in uh, precinct three a little bit more county roads, which we've discussed in the past that oh, we uh, picking up some county roads uh, south of 30. <clears throat> Right, I agree, Commissioner. But what I'm going to tell you is, 80, 80 to 90 percent of the county roads in the county are in, in uh, two already. So if we give you a couple of more county roads, I can't see how that's a huge hardship. Well, and, and we did try to address that. But as far as the one of the concerns, and you just mentioned while ago, was the population in Precinct 27, voter Precinct 27, uh, it, and it wasn't above. It was a memory serves me right, it was like uh, 4,500, so it was below the 5,000. By moving Deerfield and, and that area that's on the, whichever side of Highway 30, the College Station side, that reduced uh, voter precinct 27 by about 1,000, 1,200 people. So it already brought it down to about 3,500 the population. So we're well within, well within, uh, you know, the voter precinct population uh, well below the 5,000 out there. So, I, you know. Judge, I feel, I feel like that what I'm asking here addresses a number of the comments that we had yesterday, and I'd like to, I'd like to at least continue to have that, this, this change considered. 
Well, we're going to have to make a decision pretty quick. Okay. That, that, that's got to, uh, you know. I'm, I'm always willing to negotiate, Judge. I don't want to be, how well, do you say, not, not mean, willing to talk about it, but I, I feel very strongly about this, and I think Sid would tell you. When I asked about including the area down around Tonkaway Lakes, Initially, this was what what I'd asked for. It just didn't it didn't come out in our previous hearing because the uh, I, I was I thought I was waiting for my for my time to talk and it never seemed to happen. So this is my opportunity to to basically tell the court what I what I wanted from day one, what I'd asked for from day one. Well. I guess I respectfully disagree. Yeah, I, 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 I disagree as well. To me and, uh, so I understand. Can we take a straw poll? Straw poll on whether we want to keep it uh, on 30 or add the uh, what Street. Russ wants. Um, I don't know. I don't want to be taking a, a vote when we're not supposed to be taking a vote. So I'm a little reluctant to. Well, I mean, if we're going to uh, just to, I, mean, I, I know we need to set it. We need yeah, to make I a decision. I, I would prefer. Well, I don't think we can say this without a straw poll. I would prefer that within all of this, we have consensus where we can go to the uh, residents of Brazos County and say we're all on board with this. Yeah. That may not happen. Well, but yeah. we could always say the majority. Yeah. Do you feel that uh, 30 is the logical uh, split point, no, Miss Cauley? No comment. No comment? No, I, I'm not in that fight. Uh, I'm pleased that four is in tact and the integrity, the reason that we even form four is still strong. So. I'll let you two do it up. Well, I don't think it should be in three. I'll just say that. And uh, 30 is the logical place for it to be split. And uh, I think this is real gerrymandering in the worst way. Commissioner, we've worked all over the county to try to make sure that we did square up some lines. And I think exactly what we've done, uh, particularly to the uh, west of 30, does. Uh, I, I, th I think previously that these precincts had intentionally, appear to have intentionally given precinct t uh, two more county roads than any other precinct. Currently, if we stayed with the plan that we have now, I believe Precinct 3 has zero or no county roads whatsoever. That's so my, my point of all of this is this, this evens things up. This, this makes the county make sense. I understand that the Highway 30 line is your preference. Mathis Creek is mine. I hate to keep restating, but I still think that Highway 30 looks like the most logical line to use. It is the ETJ of College Station and the city of Bryan, and I mean, it, it squares up as well as anything. It squares up, in my opinion, a lot better than, you know, drawing it down a creek. Uh, you know. the, census, the census voting blocks are what we have to consider, though, in, in all fairness, Judge. I mean, it's, that's what I'm talking about is the census, the census, not voting block, the census blocks, enumeration blocks. So that this workshop has a recommendation to the commissioner's court next week on the final plat, um, final plan. Yeah. Well, and 
I mean, it, it, after an executive session, it says consider possible action on the executive session, and I think, oh, maybe that's not uh, potential conflict litigation on settlement. So that's a different deal. I, I mean, if, if council thinks that we can uh, approve one or the other of the plans, I mean, I'm, I'm okay with that. I just don't want us to get into any issue of voting on something when we shouldn't be. That's that's my only. So the council says we can vote? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know. And we need I, to? Yeah. I mean, I mean I, I'm Council says there. what council just council said, said, said we can. Vote. We can take a straw yeah. poll. Yeah. I think I'm in the same meeting you yep. so, so just so we're clear, you're not, you're not usurping next Tuesday. We're not no. adopting. We're just giving, right. a, we're just no. giving direction to for our agenda for next week. Exactly. Right. We're going to make a recommendation on Tuesday. We we're going to vote on Tuesday. Uh, yeah. yeah. Now we're going to we're going to vote from the recommendations we have. Here. Right. Yeah. And if we can agree, we'll walk away today with a map. With a map. Yep. It's real simple. Yeah. If you, if you don't want to do that today, then we can have both plans on the agenda next week, and you can choose which well. ones to adopt. It shouldn't be a need. I, mean, I, I mean, think I'd rather today try to. Yeah, I, I agree, to Judge. Yeah, I think that's. I think we need to. Yeah, let's let's decide something. So I guess, do we need a motion? Do we? How do we? How do we handle that? To I, to come to a. I move that we approve. Plan one. As presented. Uh, before today, the plan before we did the the swap on one and three, with, with the, ori the, line the original on, on plan, 30, on with the 30. line on thirty. So is that okay? Do we do that that way? Or is that? I don't think you vote to adopt it. I think the no, no, the plan to to. to that plan I'm moving to propose that we put this on the agenda next week as a final plan. Yes. And which, just to be clear. Which plan are we talking about? The one that was presented first before we did the swap them to it. With Highway 30 being Highway the division. So the, but there were other changes made. Yeah, we're, and I this think is the only change that you're tentatively not designating. Yes. Yeah, I, yes. Yeah, I think everything else was kind of, it seemed like a consensus that yeah. everybody was okay with the other changes. Yeah. This is the only one, the Highway 30 or I'm not sure that that's Mathis Creek. I know I've heard you say that. I don't think it is. I think it's brushy, but uh, but uh, that's the, the that's the only one that has been a little contentious. So, and so I, I think we should have Josh put what Cindy and I think is the current proposed plan up. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Because there were some yeah. other areas okay. that made some. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. And just to be clear, I'm, I'm for labeling purposes, the result, I'm going to call illustrative plan two. Okay. Just so we are all on the same page, no one A's and B's. Yeah. Uh, and to be clear, what we're going to do to create illustrative plan two is keep all of the changes except this last one. Correct. Along Highway 30. Correct. Okay. So Josh, I need for you to take back out. There you go. And the other changes that uh, were made uh, are still there. Yeah. Okay. If you guys don't mind, give me one second while I name this uh, illustrative plan two. And just take, while he's doing that, take a look and make sure the other changes are there. Uh, yes, the other changes we have or the zero population here that was moved back into one. This comes to me. And we put uh, this area back into three, it was in one, and we took this area from four into one. So it's kind of the reverse. No, actually, I here. think that was not in four. I think that was in one, and it stayed. Yeah, it had been oh. in one, but yep. that's okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's and, uh, and as it, yeah. okay, and as this shows, this will be illustrative plan two. 
numbers. Yeah. And those are the numbers you're talking about. Yeah. Um, I hear we wanted to look at the numbers on the this between uh, illustrated plane one. No, and two. I think we're good, Josh. We're just making sure yeah. that uh, the numbers on display right now look right. And the deviation is six point nine two, and that's yeah. the plan. I remember the deviation. I remember before yeah. we talked about this last set of changes. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So that's the one. Okay. okay, I'm naming this illustrative plan two. It'll give me one minute. Okay, so are we, we've got a motion. Did I get a second? Yep. Okay. Motion a second to to uh, um, move this plan forward, forward to a to vote for next Tuesday. Next week. I'm sorry, who made the second? I didn't hear it. Jeremy, did you make a second? Uh, I did not. I'll second it. Okay. So we got a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, raise your right hand. Opposed? Okay. So it passes four to one. We'll move this plan forward. Do we consider now the changes along 30, or does this preclude considering those changes? It, this this, this, is, was the, this yeah. is the plan. Yeah. Well, te technically, you can fight yeah. again. I mean, we haven't. I mean, it's it, not final until we, we vote, vote on, on it. On we pushed it forward so we could. Yeah, this will be on the agenda Sorry. on Tuesday. Does it make sense for us to have, since we have made some changes, uh, another uh, public input session? No. No. I don't know that we've got time. I don't to think you have time to do yeah. that. We had another public input session. You have to have another public. Yeah. Have to have yeah. Another yeah. Our, our, okay. And, and our, our deadline is November. Yeah. I so thought it was, I thought uh, it's the 29th now since the legislature was no, behind that, on. No, that bill, it's complicated. That bill did not change the county deadline for, which is the beginning of candidate sign up. It shifted the candidate sign up period to a two week period starting then for one of the state plans. Oh, okay. Well, that, that yeah, was they, one of the things that was the mentioned, at all. I think, at uh, uh, one of the TAC conferences that they were talking about the 29th being the uh, deadline, but, we're, but you're saying it's still on the 12th yes, sir. of November? Yes, sir. And we've been trying to follow that schedule. Yeah. Well, I, and I'd also say that if you wait until the end of November, there will not be sufficient time to reconfigure the election precincts before those deadlines start to Good. kick in. Yeah. Um, one, one last thing before we moved on I did want to address, and that was uh, the uh, what we want to do about having our uh, justice uh, precincts being contiguous with our uh, commissioner precincts. And I understand that the from visiting with uh, Sid, the, the, on, the, the only real exception I think that we have to that is we have precinct three justice precinct uh, where it covers uh, jurisdictionally the entirety of the campus. And uh, do we need to address that? I can just tell you that in conversations with Constable One and uh, JP One that they would like for uh, the commissioner's precinct and the JP and constable precinct to be contiguous. Uh, that's not, I don't think that's necessary by law. Yeah, it's, well, it's I know not. it's not necessary by law, but I just wanted to address it, a preference. Josh, can it, It's a grammar thing, but actually the word I think you're looking for is coterminous. Contiguous co means next to each other. Coterminous oh, means that the boundaries My apologies. Are Josh, do you have yeah. a shape file for the JP plan, the current plan? Coterminous. Sorry about that. 
Uh, yes, because that's basically the same as our uh, commissioners. Um, so let me load that real quick. Yeah, and I understand that it, it's not required by okay. law, but I just wanted to get the input yeah. of uh, the well, it makes precinct sense one to me constable too that and the JP1. If you uh, got a commissioner precinct, preference. whatever, you got a JP constable the same. That to yeah. make sense to me. I'm uh, I concur on that. That's yeah. exactly the yeah. I mean, with the exception that we want to address for JP3 constable three because of the uh, yeah, because of the university. Because the yeah. JP3 is really the municipal court of the university. Right. And we want to keep it that way. So whatever it is that we need to do, if we need to take some type of action to address that. or Actually, Josh, what I'm looking to for that, is to superpose the yeah, no, boundaries of the JP precinct on top of the plan we just had. I'd be glad <coughs> okay. Right yeah. now, if, if we can. could do it all one piece and everybody yeah. was agreeable to that. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. If we can and, and I mean, and I, like I say, I only have the uh, input from uh, JP1, Constable 1. Certainly. Do we have to do that at the same time? We don't have to. So we let's can get wait. some input from the constables yeah, and the I'd JPs. Like yeah, have constables. each of us. Be glad to. When we redistricted last time, they put it all in one JP at the request of the UPD, the, the police department. Yeah. So they had one constable and one JP to, to deal with. I, and I think that's the direction we would. Can you thin well, down the in. benchmark for the commissioners so that those lines are not dominant and maybe change the color of the JP lines to red? Yeah, and they should be the same lines. Which is no, they're not, they're not identical. Oh, okay, so they're not coterminous. So let me. Thanks. Thanks for the coterminous contiguous <laughs> distinction there. <laughs> Identical is your word. Calendars and I learned big words word. are, yeah, calendars <laughs> and big words are sharp objects in my pocket. That's how lawyers get paid so much. <laughs> so we remember yeah, all those horrible Probably why I'm not a lawyer. <laughs> So vocabulary, yeah, vo so vocabulary either, so. was part of the curriculum at uh, law That's school. Right. Makes it look magic, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> you know all those big words. Okay, so I have the JP lines in black, and let me make them red. Change. Can you make them red? Yes, I can make them red. But now they are red, and our commissioner lines are also red, I believe, right now. I haven't turned off. Um, so let me make those thinner. Uh, you're right. I need them a different color, but I, I would rather de-emphasize the commissioner lines and uh, bring up the JP lines so they're more visible. Okay. Yeah, and I made the commissioner lines are now black. I'm going to turn them off. <clears throat> so that's this off, and this is back on. So. Looks like, for the most part, they follow the same boundary here. There's not enough contrast between the commissioner lines and the JP lines. And if we could have, if we could have uh, this uh, available for the JPs and constables and for the commissioners to look at what the differences are and have discussions relative to that. Okay, the biggest difference I see I'm trying to get it where you can see the red on top of the black here. Um, it's just the way this program does it. It wants to change the color by the color of the precincts. So you can kind of see one's a little blue, four's a little bit of its color, and uh, so one with two is a little red, and so it does make it a little difficult here. But the uh, uh, black line should be under uh, the the justice of the. A little hard to see on here, but you can. And I think this might be the area you might we're about to be talking about, Sid. It's a little bit different here. 
for the most part, it looks like the boundaries uh, just turning on and off the um, commissioner precinct lines. You get a little bit better, but yeah, as far as um, making a map, we can definitely do, do that to make it more clear. Well, I guess if y'all want to uh, come up with a map that shows the Constable JP remaining the same on that campus area like it has been, but then uh, configuring with the way commissioner lines have been kind of the direction we're going with the commissioner lines, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with that. I, I, you know, yeah. We can work on uh, making it a little more visibly easier to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. Than it is here. It takes okay. uh, some experimenting with the thickness and the colors yeah. of the lines. Okay, we'll work that some, up for you. Maybe you can put some hash marks or something in some of the areas that are potential for change. Judge, if you wanted to address that today, you could do essentially the same thing you just did for Christian precincts and have a uh, proposal to approve uh, making the JP and Constable precincts coterminous with the proposed. Um, well, I mean, of course, I mean, we all know that the one that's critical is the commissioner's precincts, and I think we've kind of settled out on that. And I mean, I, I don't know that there's any, I'd it would be nice if we could get it done and get it all done at one time. I mean, that's what I would like to see, but I don't know that we have to make that d decision today. I mean, I think if y'all can work through that map and see where, you know, where the change, where the difference is on campus, which is, I think would be the same as it is today. And then the lines would mirror these lines for commissioners. I mean, and so then we could show the JP and constables. But to me, it's, it's, it's easier for the public if they know, well, I've got a commissioner precinct two or three or whichever, and a constable JP for the same thing. And, and the only difference would okay. be out there. Okay. Just to make sure I'm, clear on what you want. We're going to take illustrative plan two, commissioner lines, and compare those and work up a map that makes it easy to see what the current justice precinct lines are in comparison to that. And the other thing I can do for you is draw a revised justice precinct plan that follows illustrative plan one, uh, two commissioner lines with the exception of putting the A&M campus and keeping all of it in three so that you'll be able to see what that looks like and put you in a position if you're happy with what I accidentally draw uh, you would be in a position to adopt that next week as well I think that sounds good yeah. so, so the potential for a code when you said accidentally draw you're saying that the potential for a coterminous accidental <laughs> yes, occurrence. I was trying not to use that word. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just. Yeah, I'll try to produce something that you can thumbs up well, or thumbs and down, and it does not preclude making a last-minute change if you absolutely think you need to. So we want to be as flexible as we can. You know, for the safety of the community, I think we need to not use those. Uh, all of your terms. I'll, I'll try to behave, Ms. Collins. I'd like us to be as clear as possible. Remember yeah. the constituents are going to have to understand what we're doing. So, lines that are identical to the proposed new commissioner lines, except for the campus. Right. That, that's the task. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're going to have to do that tomorrow, Josh. Well, that's what I was going to ask if we... And I want to tell you, too, how much I appreciate the work because uh, in uh, just kind of passing conversations with other 
counties, uh, I think we're way ahead in the game relative to uh, where some of them I've heard some I'm, of them are. So thank you very much for that. Steve, okay. uh, Brazos County usually is. We are always ahead, and we teach others how to do it right. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so. Uh, do we have an executive session that we need to have today, or Counselor, or do you? I, I wasn't aware of one either. Okay, all right. That said, then we'll adjourn. Thank you, everyone, for coming.